Hey, what's up guys? I just wanted to make a video on how to install our diffuser from FS Performance Engineering onto a Kia Forte. I've got a Kia Forte GT sitting here and installation is quite simple. I actually have my diffuser sitting right here. Uh, it's going to be partially chassis mounted and it's super easy to install. So just go ahead and uh, watch the rest of the video and enjoy. All right, so here is our Kia Forte. Um, this one's a GT. You can see the GT's got that dual exhaust um, with the large rear muffler here. So we're gonna wanna start by removing these four clips. I like to use a flathead screwdriver. Uh, you can see I already popped this one out here. But as an example, here is the third one. So I'll go ahead and stick this in there, turn it just a little bit and it opens up and you can pull it outward. Now this is really convenient. These clips are really easy to remove and install, but we will not be using them after this. Um, they just will not hold a diffuser. And then next up, you wanna grab your drill and put it on the screw function, maybe on one speed as shown. Um, don't use the drill function, just the screw function um, and go in reverse. And you will find a 10 millimeter holding this tray 10 millimeter nut on both sides and so just kind of un unscrew it and remove it now you want to do this on both sides there's one over here on this side let's back it up here okay and then what makes this easy is after you get all four of the clips removed you can go ahead and fast forward just a little bit if you want but you can get all four removed so here's two three put them off to the side here and four here's the fourth one you can grab it pull down and now the whole entire tray will pull off so i'm doing this all in one take but you can go ahead and grab it and the center nut here can pull straight down it's actually an 11 millimeter and you don't need to unscrew it you can just grab and pull the whole thing down it pulls over that 11 millimeter nut and then comes straight off There's a lot of rocks up in there so that's your first step is to take this thing off okay so after you removed your tray go ahead and identify these slots in the diffuser and you're gonna slide the diffuser onto the outer studs where the 10 millimeter nuts were. With help from a friend, have that person hold up the back of the diffuser just so it doesn't droop down while you're installing your diffuser onto these studs. And you're gonna to wanna to use a, a small washer and a nylock nut and just kinda of get them almost tight but not all the way tight. You're gonna to wanna to be able to move it back and forth on those slots so then the four holes that are in the diffuser can install right here. We're actually gonna be using a five millimeter spacer here with longer bolts or with some long bolts and nuts. They're gonna be M6 by 1.0 by 30 and nylock nuts on top. There's gonna to be large washers on top and bottom. So I'll go ahead and just show you how to do so. So I went ahead and installed the diffuser on those two studs at the toward the front of the car on the outside, on the left and the right. And I used the smaller washers and the 10 millimeter, well, the M6 10 millimeter head nuts. Uh, toward the rear here, I used the longer bolts, the M6 30 millimeter long bolts with washers on the underside of the diffuser and on the top side of the bumper on the inside. And I placed nuts on top as well. And then I use these five millimeter spacers. Where are they? Here they are. The five millimeter spacers between the diffuser and the bumper. So I'll go ahead and show you right now what that looks like. And I only did that on the outer two toward the back, but as you can see underneath here, there is a, sorry about the, the movement, but there's a bolt with the washer. It's, it's the M6 30 millimeter long. There's a spacer in between. And then on the top side here, is where I placed the washer and the nut. So everything's loose. Notice toward the front, let me focus here. Notice toward the front, there's actually a, a small washer and a nut on that stud sticking out. Uh, same with on the other side. So let me raise the car 
and show you exactly how it is installed under there. Right now it's all sitting loose. Um, I just used a table for support as opposed to a friend or helper holding the diffuser up. So let's go ahead and uh, raise the car up. Okay, so I installed the diffuser. It's up there, it's on. It was actually super simple. I raised the car and uh, once I got under there, I put M6 by 1.0 by 30s in all four of these holes. There's one, two, three, four with washers on top and bottom and five millimeter spacers in between, of course, as you can see right there. Uh, the spacers kind of help to level it out. And then under here, I tighten these nuts, the, the uh, small M6 nylock nuts. Um, after tightening these, I just go until it feels firm and snug and doesn't want to tighten down anymore. You can use your drill. I usually use a setting, a screw setting on maybe eight and a one speed. And uh, you need a 10 millimeter wrench on top for these bolts toward the back. Um, but toward the front, you just need a ratchet wrench with the 10 millimeter on it. You can tighten those down after you've tightened the, the four at the rear. And once it's on, man, it's sturdy. It's like, it's not, it is extremely strong and on there. So that's the install video for the diffuser. If you have edge trim, pretty much something to make it pretty, you can apply it to the top side here. We're gonna be applying white edge trim to the top side. Uh, we like to prep it with isopropyl alcohol first. And the trim just sits right on top like that with 3M. Um, on these fins here, we like to apply it on the side here all the way. We want to use heat around the corner here to form it. I uh, can't remember exactly what radius that was, but it should sit on there just fine and protect your help protect your fins as well. But it's on there and it looks great. We're going to be taking some pictures here shortly. So that was the video, the installation video. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, super easy to install. While doing this video, it took me, I think, pretty much the length of the video, which was 10 minutes. I just had to raise and lower the car. Luckily, I have a four-post lift, so that makes things easy. But there it is. It's installed, so enjoy.